Hey, what's good guys? It's Zach here with Android Police here at Google I.O. 2017. A whole bunch of things were talked about this year, but in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the top five things announced. Now, if you'd like to get a full rundown, I have a link for you guys down below in the description. It'll take you to an article with a full list of everything that was announced here at Google I.O. But as for right now, let's go ahead and get into the top five things announced. All right, so starting off with Android O, we've got the new developer preview two out, and it's now available for everyone to download via their beta program. So if you have a uh, Nexus 5X, Nexus 6P, Pixel, Pixel XL, Pixel C, you can go ahead and grab it and I'll link that in the description down below as well. Now I already made a quick video sharing with you guys the new features in the developer preview version 2, but to summarize we do get a new set of emojis, so bye bye blobs. I know a lot of you guys really liked those blobs, but I guess it's time to move on. And things like smoother animations, quicker boot times, better battery management, smarter text selection, beefed up malware protection, and more will be added. Added. Again, make sure you check out that video. Now next up, we're talking about Google Photos. And if you're not using Google Photos already, I highly recommend that you do so. It's one of the best things to ever come out of Google and it just keeps getting better. So first up, we've got shared libraries. And what this allows you to do is share your whole entire picture library with someone of your choosing, whether it be your husband, your wife, or your best friend, or whoever, and you can customize this too. So for example, if you only wanna share pictures taken of specific people, you can do that thanks to facial recognition. We're also getting suggestions sharing and this is pretty self-explanatory where if you went to an event and you took a whole bunch of pictures with friends and family you'll be reminded to share those photos with specific people based on facial recognition then after you take those pictures friends and or family that may have been at that event maybe they took a whole bunch of pictures they'll also get a reminder to share their pictures to add them all to the mix other cool stuff includes the ability to make actual physical photo books using Google photos low quality and duplicate shots will automatically be filtered out and you'll even get suggestions for new photo books which I think is pretty cool. This service is actually already available only in the US as of right now, uh, with prices starting at $10 for a soft cover book and $20 for a hard cover book, both with 20 pages each. And lastly, if you take a picture of something or someone and there's something in the way kind of obstructing your view, you can actually remove said obstruction so that you can get a clearer view of your subject. This is actually pretty insane, and the example that they showed looks really, really cool. This makes next level photo editing a breeze for people like me who are less experienced, and I think if Google can actually execute this correctly, this could be so awesome and I'm really looking forward to it. Google Home got its own segment along with its own set of cool features, uh, things like additional streaming services, TV streaming services, music streaming services, you've got uh, HBO Now, you've got Hulu, Google Play Movies, uh, YouTube TV, and on the music side of things, you have support for free non-premium Spotify accounts, SoundCloud, and Deezer. Google Home now supports the creation of calendar appointments, and it'll also remind you of upcoming events. So for example, if you have an upcoming flight or an important meeting to get to, it'll say, hey, you'd better get going. There's an accident causing traffic. And if you want to get there on time, you might want to leave within the next 10 minutes or something like that. Google Home will now display different results on your TV via Chromecast or Android TV. So if you actually want to see your results, let's say weather results, what's on your agenda for the day, uh, movie results, or what's trending on YouTube, you can actually do that with Google Home on your TV. Multi-user recognition is another thing that they talked about, and the example that they gave was one person said, hey Google, play my playlist and it played their playlist. Then another person said, hey Google, play my playlist, and it started playing their playlist. So something like that is really cool. So if you have multiple users, it'll be able to detect who exactly is talking and give them their specific results. And two of my favorite features coming to Google Home is using Google Home as a hands-free way to call people Yes, thank you, Google. And you can use Google Home as a standalone Bluetooth speaker. So you can take your phone, your tablet, your laptop, connect it to Google Home, and use it as if it were just a regular Bluetooth speaker. Again, thank you, Google. And oh yeah, thank you, Google. So next up we have Google Assistant. Now this one was fairly light, but one of the biggest additions to Google Assistant is the fact that you can now get it on iOS. Yup, you can now get Google Assistant on iOS, so. Rip Siri. The assistant is actually ready on the App Store as of right now, so if you want to try it out, you can go ahead and grab it as long as you have iOS 9.1 or higher. Another thing that I found to be very interesting is that you can buy stuff and order food via the Google Assistant. That's, uh, that's cool and all, but that's also very, very tempting. Now, something that I was expecting to see when Google Assistant first became a thing was the ability to use your keyboard while you're actually talking to the Google Assistant. As you guys know, normally you can only use your voice, but now you can actually use your keyboard to type in your search or your command in Google Assistant. So 
huge thumbs up for that. And lastly, Google Assistant will support new languages. You've got French, Portuguese, Japanese, German, Brazilian, and more by the end of this year. All right, so last but most certainly not least is Google Lens. Now this is arguably the best thing announced here at Google I.O. and it's kind of like the reincarnation of Google Goggles. Try saying Google Goggles five times fast. Super chat. Super chat. So it'll start off working with Google Assistant and Google Photos and one of the examples that they showed on stage was Google Lens pointing at a flower and it was able to identify the exact type of flower that that was. But right after that, the next example was actually really impressive. So they pointed Google Lens at the back of a Wi-Fi router where it has, you know, the network name and the password right beneath it. Google Lens was able to identify what exactly that was and it gave you the option to connect to that Wi-Fi network instantly. Then after that, it showed Google Lens pointed at a number of different restaurants. Again, it was able to identify the names of those restaurants and it displayed relevant information like the restaurant's rating. Another pretty neat thing that you can do with Google Lens is that you can point it at a sign with text that's in a different language. You can ask Assistant, what does this say? And it will translate it for you. So Google Lens is another thing that I'm really looking forward to. And uh, is it time that we say uh, good night, Bixby? So there you go. Those are just a few of the awesome highlights from this year's Google I.O. Again, if you would like to get a complete rundown of everything announced here at Google I.O., I'll have a link for you down below in the description and it'll lead you to an article with a complete list of all of the things announced here at Google I.O. And trust me, there are a lot of things I wasn't able to get to. But anyway, that does it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please feel free to hit that like button, subscribe to the Android Police channel if you haven't already. That does it for me. I'll talk to you guys later and thanks for watching.